Should we do that one more time? Nemecoitin! I think that Salieri kind of represents everybody, everybody who comes to see him in an extent. Like, he's, well, he's jealousy. He's just like the embodiment of jealousy. Like, I should have gotten this, I deserve this, somebody else got it. And he just reacts in the worst possible way. I think that this character is really interesting. Um, this is actually the first time I'm playing a very kid-like character. Um, she is very light, especially in, um, the beginning of the show and very happy and in love and it's kind of nice. <laughs> well I guess he's very much a kid at heart uh, and he just he has so much going on in that he is so passionate about the things that he loves and he cares about it so much that he's willing to do anything for them uh, so I feel like I really identify with him in sort of that sense. I love the idea of two things. One, a person who is talented, who has pretty much everything going for them. They know the right people, they, they understand the business, they understand music, they understand the arts, but they're not all that talented. And how that person can change when they see a person who doesn't know any of that, except they're a genius. It's the development of resentment, which is a really cool conflict in theater and, well, life. But how Salieri resents Mozart for this God gift that Mozart has been given, but Mozart doesn't see it. Mozart doesn't even care about it. Mozart doesn't, uh, he doesn't uh, uh, help it. He doesn't do anything. He just, it all comes to him so easily. Where Salieri has to work for it and try hard and, and serve his fellow men and women and, and do all these things to remain in the, the good graces of God, yet there is this person who's so much better, unbelievably better. Why wasn't he given that gift? <laughs>